OpenAI just made a massive move, introducing the O1 model series and dropping the GPT name completely. That's right, no more GPT-5 hype, but something even more exciting is coming. This new model lineup was codenamed Strawberry originally and specializes in reasoning and it's honestly pretty amazing. So let's dive into what makes O1 so special from its groundbreaking reasoning abilities to why it might just be the next big leap for artificial intelligence. OpenAI's O1 series introduces two brand new models, O1 Preview and O1 Mini. They both feature a 1 to 8K context window, but here's the catch, O1 Preview is three to four times pricier than GPT-4, where O1 Mini comes in much cheaper. This shift isn't just about cost, it's actually about performance too, especially around complex reasoning tasks. And the results? Well, they're pretty mind-blowing. Let's look at the benchmarks. GPT-4, the previous state-of-the-art, managed to solve 13% of problems in the International Mathematics Olympiad. O1 Preview crushed that with 56%, and the unreleased full 01 model hit a whopping 83%. That's a massive 70% performance jump, especially in areas like maths, science, and logic. So who can access this model right now? Well, if you're a ChatGPT Plus or Team subscriber, congrats, you already have access to O1 Preview and O1 Mini. Keep in mind, however, that there are message limits. 30 messages per week for O1 Preview and 50 per week for O1 Mini. Unlimited API access is available too, but only for those spending $1,000 plus on OpenAI's platform at the level 5 tier. Now, why the restrictions? Well, the reasoning capabilities of this model include a process known as chain of thought, where the model thinks through tasks before actually generating a response. This requires much more computational power, which explains the higher cost and the limitations. Now, let's get into what's so special about reasoning. Unlike previous models such as GPT-4, which instantly generated responses, the O1 series takes time to think step by step before actually responding back to you. This approach, called chain of thought, allows O1 to excel in fields requiring deep logical reasoning like science, coding, and mathematics. For example, on the MMLU benchmark, the O1 series boosted performance in the college maths category from 75.2% to 98%, which is a huge leap. Here's a much more practical example. I asked GPT-4 to create a business plan for a new SaaS startup with a $100,000 budget. It gave me a decent answer right away, but when I ran the same prompt through O1, it took a full nine seconds to think, breaking down each element from marketing to finances. And the result? Well, it gave a much more well thought out and structured plan. I've also been using Claude Sonnet for coding because I like the artifacts window, but the code output can often be a little bit simplistic. With O1, I was really impressed with the code output. For example, you can give it a few very basic instructions to make a video game, and then it will think of the best way to do this before sending back the code. And if you then put this into a text editor like Sublime, it actually works pretty well when run from the command prompt. While this isn't going to replace a developer anytime soon for more advanced coding tasks or building a full stack SaaS application just yet, it's a step in the right direction and honestly I was pretty impressed. So where does O1 really shine? Well primarily in advanced reasoning tasks like math, science and formal logic as mentioned. It even rivals PhD level students in these areas outperforming GPT-4 by a significant margin. In formal logic, GPT-4 managed 80%, while O1 Preview skyrocketed to 97 But it's important to note that O1 isn't a magic bullet for all tasks. For more subjective areas like English literature, the performance increase is minimal. So while O1 is a beast at problem solving, it's not an all-encompassing AGI just yet. Okay, so let's talk real-world use cases. You might be thinking, I don't need PhD level math or logic in my daily life. But here's the kicker. Imagine mastering those skills with minimal effort. The O1 preview model brings advanced reasoning tasks within reach for anyone. Whether you're coding, doing financial analysis, or solving complex equations. Even in more everyday tasks, O1's reasoning approach offers better, more accurate answers than previous models. OpenAI has some great examples of this in action too. For example, with GPT-4.0, if you ask it how many R's there are in the word strawberry, it might come back with the number 2, because the way the model works is actually to analyse just parts of a word rather than the entire thing in detail. O1's reasoning, however, will correctly identify that there are three letter R's in the word. 
And for more complex translation features too, like where part of a translation might be corrupted or missing, O1's reasoning ability will be much more accurate at filling in those blanks. So what about prompting for O1 and does this differ? Well, here's a quick pro tip. When I've been using O1, my tip here would be to keep your prompts short and goal focused. Unlike older models which work better with very specific fleshed out prompts, O1's reasoning capabilities thrive on goal based prompting which is a little bit broader. Instead of saying, write me a 1000 word blog post with these specific details, try something like, create the best blog post for this particular target audience. You can then let O1 figure out the rest. The model also thinks in a multi-step process. Think of it as having multiple AI assistants behind the scenes discussing your prompt before giving you the desired answer. So if the task requires more than a few seconds of human thought, O1 will likely take a little bit longer to respond, but the results will well be worth the wait. Now, in my opinion, having had a play around, OpenAI's O1 series represents a massive leap forward in AI reasoning capabilities. Whether you're tackling complex mathematical problems, coding, or simply needing more accurate translation, this model is designed to think before it speaks, and that makes all the difference when it comes to the results. If you're curious to explore a little bit more about how O1 can revolutionize your work, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for the latest AI updates and also check out my upcoming deep dive into how O1 performs across different industries, particularly in learning and education. Thanks so much for watching and for subscribing and I'll catch you again next time. See ya.